It's September 26th, I'm here in Midland City, and we're gonna be going all over the place today a little bit, but uh, fall is definitely in the air. It's still pretty warm, but we got some cool little breeze blowing out here. We got leaves falling from some of these trees. Uh, we got goldenrod right over there, and it's all over the place here. It's blooming out pretty good now. And as you can see, the cotton behind me is now cotton. It's not just the plants with the flowers. And so the cotton bloom is over, at least in that field it is. It's been good for them. It typically is. It helps them stay strong uh, during our period of dearth here in Southeast Alabama. Today, we're just gonna go through these colonies though. We're gonna peek in on a few here and then go to some different bee yards and just check the strength of the colonies. Just wanna give you an idea of how my bees are looking uh, right now in late September. Let's just kind of take a little walk down here and look at the activity at the beehive entrance. Uh, as you can see, these bees right here are pretty active. Some look a little stronger than others. This one right here doesn't look that strong. Pop the lid on this one real quick and just see what we got. Okay, we got bees in there, but not super strong. So I might need to actually figure out a way to remove that top box there or something. I just let it ride for now. Just peek in on this one though and see what we got. This one looks a little better. I anticipate a much better result here. Oh, uh, not crazy strong, but they're doing all right. So you see them in the upper box, but they're not just packed out like I'd like to see them in this one. That's better, a little better. So they got uh, nectar and honey down in there. The stick on here is one that the bee inspector came and uh, did uh, checked out a few weeks ago. Did some mite washes just to kind of check on them and see how they're doing. Pretty good. This thing right here, this hive, it's a little ridiculous. I'm going to condense it down, but it's just been so full of bees that I haven't done it yet. And I may use some of these honey supers to help feed some other ones or, or whatever. Maybe mix and match some frames around. See, look at that. That thing is five boxes tall, a deep and four mediums. Crazy. They're gonna get after me here in a minute. I don't have gloves on. That one's got an extra box more than what they need probably. See, see, I have a little management to do, uh, but not that big a deal. They're, they're okay to ride like this for a little while. This one's got bees. That one is packed full. I'd like to see them all look just like that. You can tell I've had a few dead outs out here. That's a lot of what I've been doing the last few weeks is trying to get all that cleaned up. But we pretty much have that done now, so now I can focus on the hives that are still living and try and get them taken care of. Oh boy, Ooh, that hive's full. Mm. There wasn't a lot of activity at the hive entrance on that one, but man, I don't know if you can tell how <laughs> packed out that hive was. All right, let's go on to some different areas. Let's go check out some different bee yards. We're up in Ozark now, and I haven't been in these colonies in a while. I uh, just thought I'd check on this one right here, see what we got. This is a nuke right here, where we put one of Greg's queens from Nature's Image Farm on July 29th. I did come through these colonies a few weeks back and check on them to confirm that the queens had emerged and were laying, and they were. I see a good brood pattern. See the things I need to see? I'll get right out of here. And oh my goodness, we do. We have a tremendous breed pattern. Look at that. Honestly, and there's the queen. She's right there. She still got her Pepto pink dot on her. Really, that's all we gotta see. This side looks great as well. The question now is, do I need to put another box on here or get them in a Tim Framer to give them more room? We are in the fall flow right now, and so are they gonna expand more or should I just leave them in the nuke? Don't have a huge population of bees right now, and I'm okay with that. I'm just fine with these things shutting it down a little bit going into winter, as long as we have plenty of uh, food stores. See, so we got food on this frame. We have honey and pollen same thing here mostly honey 
So what do y'all think? Should I add some space on here? Should I put them in a bigger box? Should I just add another nuke box on top, make them a double deep nuke? We got eggs on that frame. Some brood on that side. Then the out outer frame is mostly food. So I think they're okay to kind of let rock and roll for a little while. There she is. I'm gonna grab her, set her a frame or two over so I don't smash her as I put these back in. Looks like she's established, doing well. The attitude seems pretty good, so I'm happy with that. Let's go check on another one. Now this one right here was a pretty weak split when we made it because we took the split from this colony right here next door. And so there weren't a lot of bees in here, but it did have one of Greg's queens in there. So let's just check it out. And I can already tell you it's looking pretty good uh, with the number of bees in here because it was not very strong when we actually went in here last time and found the queen. Gosh, it's been a long time since I've been through these colonies. Now we got honey, we got pollen. Uh, not a lot of population, but we definitely have bees. Okay, she's laying it up a little bit here. I see eggs, I see brood. There we go, that's what I want to see. A nice pattern. Now these queens I got from Greg up at Nature's Image Farm. I anticipate them to go into winter with a fairly small cluster because of their genetics. Kind of what Greg describes is that they, they back off during the winter time some. Now we're not into winter obviously yet. And uh, there she is right there. Well, this queen does not have a pink dot on her, so I really don't think they've had a chance to requeen her and have all this. Uh, brood in here since I was in here last time so they must have just removed the pink off of her. There she is right there. That's interesting maybe they just cleaned the dot off and I guess there's a small possibility they superseded her but I really don't think if they had done that we would have as much population as we do in here. Attitude is really good. I'm not getting after me at all. All right, shall we go in one more? Let's go in one more. This is another one. The new queens in there from Greg. Got some breed. We're putting some nectar in around here. Got us a fall floor going. I'm not feeding right now. There we go. Got that little smell of the fall floor coming in. Yeah, we have plenty of brood in all different stages of development here, I think. So, looks like the queen's doing good. I'm a little concerned with the food stores in these colonies though. I'm not seeing a lot of it. So I might have to get up here and feed. Different areas, it's amazing the difference. It's got a little bit of honey right there. See, I'm not even really smoking these bees where I haven't yet much and they seem to be quite calm. So maybe the new genetics are working. Okay, right here we've got pollen all around the edges, a little honey around the top. They're doing okay. They seem to be quite calm, just working the frame. It's one of the coolest things about beekeeping is just that rhythmic motion of the bees as they walk across the frame, doing their thing. 
it is quite therapeutic. Sometimes it's just nice to get out and get in the bees and not have to worry about anything else. Nice little brood pattern there in the middle, pollen all around the edges, a little honey in the corners. And then I believe this outside frame. is mostly honey, which is good. That's a good frame of food right there. Well, quite a bit of honey up through here. Well, Greg, I am impressed with how calm and peaceful these bees seem to be. Didn't see the queen, but I'm not worried about it. Good stuff. Well, I went through and I checked the weight on these colonies, uh, tipped them up, and most of them feel a little bit light. So I think I need to get some food out here, get some weight on them. Maybe the fall flow is not that great, at least not out here. So I need to get something done about that. I'll try and get that done in the next few days. I also did mite washes on several of the colonies, and I had results of anywhere from zero mites to seven mites. Uh, if you consider a 3% threshold, I'm within the threshold on all of these, but I really don't want to see six or seven mites in these colonies in the washes and so i'm probably going to order some apigard and try that out i've never done that before even though most of them are within threshold i just would like to knock those mites on down further if you have any thoughts on apigard in the fall let me know uh, but i'll try and probably get that in here in the next uh, get those done in october and then i'll try and get back here sometime in the winter and treat using oxalic acid and i have one of the new insta vapes ordered from rob at little robbie's and I'm excited to try that thing out. It should make life a lot easier for oxalic acid treatments. Overall, there are bees in these colonies. They look fairly healthy. And they're not just booming like they are in the springtime. Uh, they're starting to kind of go into a little bit of a, a winter type mode, I think. They're backing off a little bit on brood production. I did not see many drones, I saw a few. Uh, but mostly they're just kind of starting to hunker down a little bit, I guess, and get ready for winter. This area right here in Ozark, is a great honey producer for particularly the tallow flow. There must be a lot of tallow around here, which is our biggest harvest. Other times during the year, these bees will starve out quick. There's not a lot coming in. And it's amazing how beekeeping can be so regional, even in a specific geographic area. Some of my bees right now are bringing in stuff. They're looking great and they're pulling in, they're, they're putting on weight. These just aren't putting on a lot of weight right now. So I gotta do something about that in the feed. All right. Y'all take care, be safe, and we'll catch you on the next one. And if you want to see the video where I put those queens in of Greg that we looked at today, check it out right here.